Five years ago, when I was 16 years old, I had the most irritating and depressing dream I've ever had. And I know them all, from dreams and dreams to reoccurring dreams over long periods of time, lucid dreaming, all the sorts. This one dream, however, was like nothing I had ever or have since experienced. It was as close to reality as possible. I was 16 years old, living with my mom and her boyfriend. I visited my dad and his wife during weekends, and I took care of my three younger siblings. I even went to school in the dream. It, time felt the same. It was one to one. Every little detail I can remember. Even the house I lived in was the same. The streets I crossed to go to school were the same. Hell, the damn street light that was broken in my street was the same. There was only one single thing that was different. My twin brother was alive. You have to know, when my mom was pregnant with me, the doctor discovered in the fifth month of pregnancy that she was carrying twins. One of which was already dead due to insufficient feed through the umbilical cord. It was developed far enough for the doctor to see that it was a boy. She told me about it when I was maybe seven or eight years old, and I remember being extremely sad about it since I always wanted to have a brother. In this dream, my brother was alive and my best friend. I still remember how he looked as if it were, had just happened last night. It was like he was my mirror. We shared the same hobbies, had a huge mutual group of friends. Of course, sometimes we fought and got on each other's nerves, but that's normal, isn't it? Everything in this dream was logical. My brother and me would both visit my dad since we were both his children. We went to the same school, even. I remember seeing him taking care of my youngest sister, and she calling him brother. Just remembering it breaks my heart. When in the dream, maybe two or three weeks had passed, everything broke apart. Literally. Our house collapsed and crashed. I remember standing in front of ruins and being left alone. Then I woke up. My twin brother was gone. And I felt so alone like I had never felt before. It was like he had died. I don't want to sound dramatic, but... There's not one week of my life when I don't think about him. Sometimes it's even every day. And it was still just a dream, wasn't it? I never told anyone about it in fear of being called silly. I don't think anybody would understand. It feels like for some weeks I could live my alternate life with my twin brother still alive. Could I catch a glimpse of one of my alternate realities? I don't know. But this dream made me love my non-existent brother so much that I have to believe that there is a world out there in which he lives. Has anyone ever experienced a dream like this? I still can't get over how real it was. Every single detail. New to Reddit, I've been reading some of your glitch stories, so deciding to add mine. In 2010, I was 27 years old and living in Plymouth, in the south of England. Whilst living there, I attended a teacher training course at Plymouth Madron College. I used to get a lift to and from college every day, as one of the guys called Jake drove me and gave me and two other students a lift. There was one girl in the group called Kate, and she loved going to the charity shop, which was near where we got dropped off at the end of the day. It used to really annoy me that she used to buy stuff from charity shops including checking out clothes. I just bottled my emotions and never really said anything. On one Friday afternoon, Jake was driving towards the drop-off point and he asked us what we were going to do for the rest of the day. John was sitting in front and said he was going home. 
I was sitting behind the driver and said I was going home to chill. Kate said she was going to the charity shop. As it was around 4.30 p.m., she said she had time as it normally closes at around 5. Something in me snapped and I felt this buildup of anger at her decision to visit the charity shop. Some great powerful force took control over me and I straightened out my left arm and, and pointed it in the direction of the charity shop, which was probably about 200 meters away, but not in plain sight. I began to chant a mantra loudly that everyone in the car could hear. Close, close, close. After putting my arm down, I thought that was crazy. I remember thinking I'm going to look really stupid if they don't close that shop. People in the car looked at me strangely whilst I had been chanting, and then everyone looked at the charity shop. First, it seemed nothing was happening. Then we saw a woman in the shop dash towards the counter, and then a lady at the desk gave her something. Then we saw her dash towards the door holding something, probably keys, and she appeared to lock the door quickly. Right when the car was directly in a line with the shop, she changed the sign on the door from open to closed. The guys in the car were amazed and John said, that's impossible. I remember they spontaneously burst out laughing and John looked at Kate and I. The girl in the car seemed afraid and looked at me in the eye and then whimpered. The time between the chant and the shop being closed was probably less than 15 seconds but it is hard to measure time when you are caught up in the moment. I have always wondered whether this was a coincidence, synchronicity, apophenia, or if I was just going crazy. Now here's the crazy part. I remember thinking afterwards what made me do that or even believe it was possible. It wasn't until I was watching a rerun of The Matrix on TV that I realized that my mind got it from the part where Neo raises his hand and says no to stop the bullets. On a side note, I have always been known as a sensitive child, and when I was younger I would try to reenact something I saw in movies or read about it in a book. Now I believe that we should be careful what kind of movies we watch or books we read as they affect your life. I'd be glad to hear your opinions and answer your questions.